The restricted column is one of the types of columns available in SAP HANA models, which include the following. Columns, Calculated Columns, Restricted Columns. The restricted column is restricted based on one or more attributes. These columns can be anything in the base table or view that the modeler defines in order to help reporting or further modeling. The restriction cannot be based on a column defined as a measure in the semantics. With this data, you could restrict your report by filtering on cost type equals to shipping cost. Should your reporting tool be SAP Business Objects, you could create a data provider with a query restriction where cost type is filtered to only display shipping cost. The figure last trains the procedure to create restricted columns. Continuing with the example of using SAP business objects for reporting, when having access to this restricted column, you could report on both the total gross amount and just the flat screen's gross amount in the same data provider or query. If there are different lines in the restriction, all the lines defined on the same column are combined with the logical operator OR, and then all the sets of restrictions for different columns are combined with the logical operator AND. This is the case regardless of the order in which you define the lines. From SAP HANA 1.0 SPS09, in calculation views, it is possible to create restricted columns with the between operator and using input parameters. You can visualize the expression corresponding to your restrictions, especially if you want to check the precedence of logical operators. It is also possible to modify this expression, especially in complex scenarios when the features offered in the column tab do not fulfill your requirements. A calculated column does not have to be a complex formula. It can also be a simple calculation. The figure last trades when to create calculated columns. When creating a calculated column, the first step is to choose the column type, measure or attribute. In the sum line highlighted red, the units have been aggregated as well as the price. Multiplying these two aggregates will not give a meaningful result. Selecting the Calculate Before Aggregation box solves the problem with the multiplication of aggregates. Only use Calculation Before Aggregation when required. For example, when calculations include multiplication or division. If the calculations are just additions or subtractions, it is not required. As well, it will slow down the execution of the view.
the correct total sales measure 98,750 when using calculation before aggregation varies greatly from the incorrect one in the earlier example 1,135,225.